Hello Beauty News family, welcome to Beauty News. This yes. is the 20th of September edition. Dun dun dun! Halloween will be over before we know it. Literally in like two days we're going to be having to put on Halloween shit. <gasps> shit, I forgot about that. I know, like <laughs> it's going to happen so oh, quick. Remind me. So quick. Um, so we're going to be talking about new release beauty products and updates of things that we've talked about in the past that are going to, or that have updated in the last week or so. Yes, let's um, do it. Update let's, time. Let's start. All right, first update is Bobbi Brown, uh, their Lux Gems palette. So we've had a much closer look at it. Gotta say, she's very pretty. It's, it's true. a seven pan palette. It looks like only one shade is matte. Yeah, um, the yeah. cream is definitely. Um, anyway, it is available now on Nordstrom for 75 US dollars. Uh, it's a limited edition and it has seven ultra blendable Lux eyeshadows in striking jewel tones and sparkling finishes. Yeah, I've noticed this actually, and we'll talk about it a bit more with um, more releases. They seem, brands seem to be releasing their holiday main palette early. Yeah. Before their collection, yeah. which is a bit strange. What I have noticed in this, and it seems like we were quite correct, the first shade in there yeah. is like MAC Stylishly Merry. Yeah. It's um, that pink to sort of gold. Yeah. So I think there's, and also they're owned by the same company. So it wouldn't surprise me if they're no. using similar pigments. There are some nice colors in here. Um, hopefully the formula is nice, but yeah, that is uh, yet to be determined. Another brand that has released their holiday palette early. Um, this was available for 24 hours and it's Charlotte Tilbury. It's the Starry Eyes to Hypnotize Instant Eye Palette. So this is the same format as um, their last couple of holiday yeah. palettes. I think the last two years they've had this sort of format where uh, you have almost like four trios mm. um, and they just bring out little color story, different color stories every year. So that did launch, like I said, for like a pre-launch for 24 hours on the 12th of September. Not sure when it's officially launching, but we can see swatches. It's like a little gold nude trio, a pinky trio, gold light green trio yeah. and more of a sort of smoky cool tone trio. So um, yeah, we've got some little updates on the Hourglass Holiday Collection that uh, seems to be dividing the beauty community. Yeah, um, with its plastic packaging. With its plastic yeah. packaging. Um, this, look, it's available 17th of September exclusively on hourglasscosmetics.com and other retail, retailers the 27th of September. So as we talk, we might have more information on the screen. Otherwise, we'll have to update you again next week. Grr, grumble, grumble, grumble. But essentially, uh, what we want to update is a little scattered light trio that they'll be selling this year. So it contains foil and ray, which are existing shades in the range. And the new shade is molten. Another cool thing about this, they're actually minis. Yeah, so they're, I like that. They're two grams per pot rather than, I think the full size are three and a half grams. So they are minis. And I appreciate that in products like this. Yeah. Because you're buying them sort of in bulk. You're buying three of them, which is great because you want a nice little selection of colors but you don't need 3.5 grams of product that's a lot of product for an eye cream yeah type thing but it's also a nice way to sample a few shades and yeah. figure out which one like the purple is a limited edition one yeah. but if you like the other two shades and you know you're going to go through it you can invest in the bigger one down the track i also want to point out that we have the shades that's for right. the lip duo that yes. we're very excited for the shades are I Cherish and You Inspire. Mm. Did they come? Are they already out? They're new. I'm pretty sure. I looked this up and I'm pretty sure they're both new. Good. Anyway, there's a nude and a red, which is pretty standard of their packs. Um, but they're very popular shades, like yeah. standard shades that a lot of people use. So it makes sense. All right. From Sonia G, we have seen the brushes that are in her sky brushes collection or the sky face set it's called so the brushes that are in the collection are the master face the worker fan the soft cheek the classic cheek and the mini cheek these are all existing brushes with uh limited edition 
handles. Yeah, so the handle's blue instead of red. So yes. it's blue to black instead of red to black. This is $270. Mm -hmm. It's already available, sold out, returning soon. <laughs> yes. So, but it's the same price as their other packs. So the only real difference is the, the handles handles yeah. and probably the brushes that have been chosen to put in the pack yeah um i actually think it's a very nice pack i think the brushes like that too, were yeah. picked like i'm not a fan brush person but because that's quite um a thicker fan brush i can imagine myself using this for highlighter or powder um and yeah. i think the shape of the other ones are really versatile so yeah i um, agree and look i have never liked fan brushes. No, never. Same. I've used a lot of them, never liked them. But it wasn't until I tried my first, like, really high end luxe natural bristle fan brush that I went, oh, there is a benefit I to see. them. <laughs> I see what people are loving. So, yeah, not a bad little set. All right. <laughs> Probably the biggest update of the week Victoria yes. Beckham. Earlier this year, we heard that she's going to be releasing a makeup brand mm -hmm. and it launched over the weekend. Mm. So this is actually a makeup brand that is co-founded by Victoria Beckham and ex Estee Lauder executive Sarah Creel. So they wanted to launch a luxury, clean, sustain sustainable and cruelty free cosmetics line. Now, uh, they, I think they do talk about the background of like how they started, but it sort of sounds like the collaboration with Estee Lauder and Victoria Beckham, which was a couple of years ago and very successful. Yeah. This has probably led yeah, yeah. their own brand. So it has launched. We've seen what's in it and it seems pretty basic on the surface. Yeah. But I feel like there's going to be a lot more to it down yeah. the track. So there's the Smoky Eye Brick Satin Matte Eyeshadow. It's 54 US dollars and there's four shades. Signature, Tuxedo, Royal and Tweed. So these are pretty much, um, Hourglass tried to do this a few years ago and they failed did. big time. Yeah. It's like a palette, but instead of having the pans distinguishing the different shades, um, it's all in one pan sort of pressed together. Mm. Um, and they're pretty basic shades. So, um, look, there's a nude, which almost has like a cream, a pinky cream yeah. and two browns. Then you have more of a smoky quad mm -hmm. um more of a blue quad which is quite different um and then more of a rusty quad so you know they're not the most exciting things but it is what it is so the packaging is designed by ezra petronio um and it's a slimline eyeshadow compact so the eye compacts are reusable yeah and then um the tubs for um the next thing we'll talk about their recyclable black glass so pretty like it's good that they've they've thought of that yeah um but it sounds like like the tub sounds pretty bougie it's like keep it to put your little like jewelry in or something i know black um, glass yeah exactly it sounds like it's black a, diamond yeah it sounds so bougie Fancy. so uh those are the lid luster crystal infused eyeshadows they're 36 us dollars which is actually not that much not compared bad. to like the hourglass ones um the uh, Mark, Mark Jacobs, Jacobs ones. Yeah. It's on that sort of, it's not excessively expensive yeah. for that sort of higher end makeup. The shades are Onyx, Midnight, Mink, and Blonde. Um, and once again, they sort of correspond a little bit with the, the palettes. palettes. Yeah. yeah. So, but they're mainly nudes with a sort of like a smoky blue color. Yeah. Then there's the Satin Kajal liners in black, bronze, and Bordeaux. Yeah. So you've got a black, a goldy bronze, and a beautiful red. I know, the burgundy's really nice. Oh, so pretty. So these are 26 US dollars each. And again, I feel like coming from this brand, which we can tell by its packaging, its marketing, and also the products they're releasing, it's a very luxe, it's meant to be high end. Mm -hmm. It fits within the Bobbi Brown, the um, Hourglass, Hourglass it fits in there, price-wise. Yeah, yeah, I'm actually quite surprised. I was expecting things to be more like expensive. Like Tom Ford. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I was expecting like that too. 30 or $40 for a pencil. Yeah. And that's when you completely, like, rule me out. Like, I'm yeah. out. I'm not interested. Yeah. But I feel like they've released... I feel like they've released smart products with the liners in 
usable colors, so black and the bronze. They're basically universal. Yeah. And then the Bordeaux is the fun pop for people who have a little bit of like a playful mm -hmm. foray into makeup. When you look at the palettes, again, they've gone warm, cool, really super warm with the red and then fun with the blue. Yeah, which is trendy so, at the moment. Yeah, so I feel like they're really smart. I feel like these ladies are smart yeah. AF. Yeah. And I'm actually really excited to see what this brand comes I, out with. I agree with you. I'm excited to see the quality of the eyeshadows. Yeah. Yes. For me, there's too much like just cream that's fair um, yeah. the one that interests me the most is the red tone you know one. yeah yeah, but yeah. That's because <laughs> i like those tones on the eyes yeah. more than like a bone color yeah. but i do think if this quality is nice i think what they've started with even though it is boring yeah it's um, smart it's catering to a certain audience which is more people that are into fashion and use make like good quality makeup but they don't like to you know, wear the neons and the yep. multichromes and the stuff that's a little bit like out there. This is sort of classic makeup. So I totally get where they're coming from. Um, and uh, yeah, like you, I'm pretty interested in it. Yeah, I'm I'm excited about this brand. Fucking more power to them because this could be good. Yeah. All right, let's dig into some new stuff and we're going to start out with our Aussie, Aussie brand, uh, Astralis. Yes. They're releasing a fresh and flawless fluid coverage foundation. And they are also expanding their Fresh and Flawless powder range. Now, the concealer, that's new too, isn't it? Yeah, so I think the foundation and the concealer are new. They come sort of hand in hand. Yep. Uh, so it's a Fresh and Flawless full coverage foundation, 30 shades, and the Fresh and Flawless Conceal and Contour Concealer in 10 shades. Yep. Um, but then, yeah, they've added deeper shades to their Fresh and Flawless powder range. Excellent. Uh, so there's four, like new, four. Yeah, yeah. four new shades, which makes a total of 10. Now, that powder has been around for better part of a decade. I'm wearing it today. Yeah, it's a very popular one <laughs> yeah. in Australia, so it's great to see that they have added more shades into it. Um, but also, it's nice to see that they're sort of... Um, building on a range that has been so popular for a long time and actually taking what people possibly like or the people that like those powders and trying to cater with a foundation and a concealer for them. So um, I'm interested. This is yeah, full I coverage, ultra, ultra lightweight foundation. It's got vitamin C and E and SPF 15. So um, yeah, I think it's interesting. Yeah, I'm, I'm keen to see what this is like yeah i agree did we mention the foundation is available in 30 shades 20 yes. bucks 19.95 and then if you wait for price line sales 40 percent off do it do it concealers 13.95 same as a powder all right burt's bees have launched some new products so we've got the goodness glows tinted moisturizer in six shades 11.99 us dollars the Australia stuff was Australian dollars, if you didn't catch the, that drift. Um, so this is more of a lightweight, sheer coverage, daily moisturizing product. Um, made with green tea, vitamins, antioxidants. So it's, yeah, tinted moisturizer and adds hydration. Then there's uh, Defining Retractable Eyeliners, $9.99 US dollars in Mulberry, Onyx, Sapphire, Hammered Bronze, yeah, Hammered, um, and <laughs> Gilded Sage and Brown Quartz. Then we've got the All A Flutter Volumizing Mascara, $12.99 US dollars in navy, classic black and black brown. They're classic three shades, mm -hmm. very good. Um, and the All A Flutter Multi Benefit Mascara, $12.99 in classic brown and black brown. So now available at Burt's Bees uh, website. Excellent. From Ciate, we I'm have... I'm actually secretly excited about this one. Are you? Okay, good. This is called the Micro Blade Brow. And... Essentially, what we have is a four prong tip mm -hmm. liquid brow pen. Yes. Yes. Yeah. So, uh, if you're listening on the podcast, uh, there is a video that I put up on our Instagram page of someone using this. It actually looks pretty simple to use. It does, yeah. Um, so, a lot of the time, brands have brought out these sort of um, marker style brow pens and um, the thing that I've always sort of dodged and not really liked about them or avoided is that they seem like they take too long to apply yeah but having the four prong it actually gives you okay maybe too much so maybe <laughs> of a micro about a bladed effect yeah it, this one looks like on the person it looks really easy but it also looks like it's 
pretty obvious. Yeah. Um, but I think this is a cool move. I do know that this is big in like Korea and Japan, Huge, so it's yeah. not like a new concept. But it's nice to see it coming to the sort of more um, like you know, Ciate London. It's based in London, yeah. so it's nice to see it coming to more of a like a Western brand. Yeah, and we have like we've seen it from I think L'Oreal or Maybelline or one of them. Yeah, tried to do it. I don't know if they did it successfully though. No, I don't think they Yeah, did. but this is coming in three shades and it's 14 pounds. Uh, the shades are soft brown, deep brown and charcoal. Mm. Um, now they do give a pro tip saying that it, you should apply it to clean brows that are mm. free of product and moisturizers. And a few people have mentioned that that is unreasonable. I totally agree. Yeah, I agree. Um, but they do say that that means it will, the product will work better and last longer. So it just means that if you put it over makeup, you're not going to get the same longevity because as the makeup wears off, so will your brows. Yeah. Like, it is what it is. But I think it actually looks kind of interesting. But yeah, I think if you wanted to try the look of microbladed brows without actually committing to it, I think this might be a good one for people. Okay, Clinique. We have seen... This will be some of their holiday releases yes. for 2019. Clinique do massive holiday collections um, and they slightly differ globally so yeah. wherever you are in the world you might have a slightly different offering yeah but it's generally different value packs yes yeah the sort of holiday releases often stay the same but how they bundle certain packs yes will is, differ yeah from country but to country some of these will also come to other countries yeah. this is what we've got for, for the, the US. us that's currently available at sephora so there's the cheek pop palette in cool down this is 29.50 it contains three of their um pressed powder blushes in that yep. pretty little daisy um compact thing their design pan yeah design that's design, what that's i was looking for i do think that these are ex like Existing, uh, existing shades, shades yeah. from what I understand. So it's a nice little combo. Yeah. It looks very spring. It does. Um, There's a pale pink, sort of a lavender yeah. shade, and then like a nudie pink. Yeah. I do think the selection is pretty. Yes. I want it, but I don't need it, and That's I'm not true. allowed to do it. Yeah. Then we have the Black Honey Lip and Eye Bedazzled set. This is $29.50. It consists of a five pan palette, a mini mascara, a Black Honey... Um, lip tint and yeah. an eye pencil plus a makeup bag there's the almost lipstick mini duo for you for me this is nine dollars fifty it has a black honey almost lipstick and a pink one i don't know it's called what... pink honey oh is it there we go <laughs> the last one with makeup i believe is the merry moisture set this is 950 it contains a moisture surge mini and a lip chubby stick. chubby stick that's it there's a glow to go sonic clean set so this contains one of their sonic cleaning brushes and a cleanser plus a little case for your cleanser brush thing uh there's a more than moisture pack wear it and be happy from party to pjs a great skin for him a little happiness sparkle and glow and then there's great skin anywhere sets for dry skin oily skin and combination skin and finally their big one is the de-aging expert so that's their sort of very luxe line designed for aging skin um, but they're all avail available now on sephora all right color pop um and oh, i'm gonna have to say this every week uh no doubt by the time this is up color pop would have announced another thing mm -hmm. check out our instagram page if you want to see daily updates. All right, so the first thing we're going to talk about is their fall collection, which is sort of like a burgundy collection. They haven't really come out to say, like, this is a burgundy palette. It's just the fall collection. Yeah. Um, so the main thing is the whatever palette. So this is a 12-pan palette. It's $18, and it's got some burgundies. It's got some warm tones. It's got a glitter. You know, it is what it is. A bit of beige. Um, you know, if you do like that sort of fall color story, this is quite nice. Yep, Haley raises her hand. Um, and that dark berry matte in the corner. Oh, oh gorgeous. Yeah. Yeah, gorgeous. <laughs> then they have six new Super Shock blush shades, $8 each. Now, um, these are blushes and they're... They're sort of like, once again, fall colors. There's like orangey colors, some Nudes, burnt reds, yeah. some sort of dust 
dusky pinky kind of shades nothing too bright nothing too cool toned it's all in that sort of full look so the six of those the six new ultra glossy lip shades seven dollars each and once again same kind of colors warm tones we've got um nudes we've got sort of like peachy nudes burnt nudes brick yeah red. brick red yeah so all sort of pretty colors so swatched on the arm it's like yeah yeah they look all right they they all seem to be a cream formula that is quite opaque yeah none of them are like sparkly or anything like that but when you do see them on the lips i'm like i want three I, of them i know i actually really like these colors yeah i, I like them i too. think they're really pretty um i think they've done well with this selection are they new shades yes. to the range okay they're new so shades. they're not re-promote no okay um, colourpop did recently have a sale where they got rid of a lot of yeah. old shades so i think they're clearing them out and getting some new ones in Excellent. and then of course we have the stranger than diction bff bundle 18 dollars. so this contains um a pen a pencil liner a pot liner and a mascara all in burgundy shades beautiful you're beautiful absolutely stunning you know yeah. i'm buying the so, shit out of I this know. <laughs> so these are all available now um and it's a it's actually quite a nice like it for a fall collection it meets the requirements yeah it's quite trendy with the um burgundy liners and yeah. mascara i think that's sort of something that's really on trend at the moment and um, they've padded out some basic products like nice lip glosses and blushes. So Yeah, I really um, like this yeah. collection. Now, we know there has been some sneak peeks of some ColourPop products um, that have popped up uh, that are, they haven't been announced by the brand yet. So we're not going to talk about that until we've seen more about it. We can give you guys more information. Mm -hmm. um, but just so you know, we know. Yes. It's all good. Because we do get tagged a lot and we do get people in the comments going, did you see the we did. pretty, fresh, hyaluronic acid tinted moisturizer? We saw. We saw it. <laughs> as well as the pretty, fresh, hyaluronic acid setting mist and um, primer. Primer. We did see them. So all good. Until we have more information, legit information. Yeah, we won't. We won't talk about no it. No point. All right. Dose of Colors have shown a sneak peek of an upcoming product. So it looks like it's going to be a concealer in the Meet Your Hue range so they brought out their foundations they sneak peeked them the same way um and we're just waiting on the release info, info information from pharmacy beauty they've launched a limited edition honey butter body ultra hydrating body cream oh it's a lot of words uh why do you need body in there twice? body 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 body, body. <laughs> oh good god uh it's they're saying it's our first ever body cream and the latest addition to our honey collection. It's a whipped formula packed with antioxidant rich honey and a triple butter blend for intense moisture. That's why they've got to put body in there twice because it's their first body product. Oh, body, 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 body. <laughs> must be body <laughs> in a body world. Yeah. Uh, so this is available now at Pharmacy Beauty for 35 US dollars. Cool. From Flower Beauty, we have a new Jungle Lights Shadow Palette. This is $19, six shades. Um, all metallic. All metallics. So they're saying, so they're saying it has an exotic feel, and the pigments are infused with micro pearls to create the ultimate metallic eye look with no fallout. Mm. So it's there a creamy, blendable texture that will transport you to paradise. Okay, calm down. Look, uh, but it's nineteen dollars. I don't think anything transports you to paradise for nineteen dollars. No, <laughs> no, um, no. Look, there are some nice colors in here. Yeah, and if you really want to pat out your metallics and you like flower beauty, okay, do it. But um, it's not that exciting. No, we're moving on. Oh my god, this is very exciting for me. Why do they do this? I hate. Why is this exciting? For I you? just I don't even know. What's wrong with you? Oh, is it because of the one red? <laughs> You're insane. I'm losing it. Uh, Givenchy have shown their 2019 holiday collection. I like that it's very small. <laughs> it is tiny. It's a tiny collection. So we have the Givenchy Red Lights palette. This is 44 pounds. It has four shades. There's sort of like a metallic, uh, icy green sort of red. Um, a it's like orange a silvery peach. color, yeah. yeah, silvery, like a between a silver and a gold. Yeah, it's interesting. Um, there's a peach shade and a pink shade. 
Then we have the um, Prism Powder. This one is Sparkling Mousseline, 48 pounds. So they do these every year. It's four different shades. Yeah, with um, limited edition packaging. Yeah, and then we have the, uh, the lipsticks. There's two shades, they're 26 pounds, 50 each. Got bold red and thrilling brown. I don't think anyone's ever called brown thrilling. Nah, nah, definitely not. Now I think these are actually going to be metallics. They look like it, um, which is a little bit disappointing. But the design, the packaging design, and the um, design like on the, the design on the bullet is amazing. It does look cool. So this is launching in October. All right, uh, Graceful and Nail Polish have released a new Muggle Academy collection. So this is inspired by Harry Potter. Um, it's already released and you can get it on the Australian website or the international website. Um, there are 10 shades. So the shades are nine and three quarters, Dora, Mooney, uh, Golden Catch, Potion Number no. 5, Draco, Our Hero, Goblin Gold, and A Million Candles. So, um, Hopefully, if you're a big Harry Potter fan, you will get the inspiration. There are some really pretty shades here. Our hero. I know. Oh my god. It's like a Christmas beetle mushed up into glitter. I know. And put on your nails. I love it. Yeah, so there's some really pretty colours here. And I'm sort of getting holiday vibes from this, even though it's not a holiday collection. Yeah, but, I agree. Um, I think it's been done well. Yeah, I think it's been done well. And I think um, people that really enjoy the references would appreciate it. Yes. All right. Mm. This is one that probably we like the least from the week, maybe. Mm. House Labs mm. by Lady Gaga. Well, actually, she doesn't own it. Yeah, some dude's the CEO, so a dude is running it. Yeah, and she's just and the face she's, of it. Yeah. Anyway. We couldn't actually find out what role she plays other than the face of it. The face of it. Um, anyway, they have released three new products to the line and they've also released all their past products individually. So I know cheeky fuckers. We ordered two packs to feature on the makeup breakup, which I'm hasn't arrived yet. I'm going to just take yet. a dump on them. <laughs> oh my God. Look, that's, that would be demonetized. That's Bailey. how we make up breakup <laughs> over here with Bullshit like this. Look, you can always run it over with your car again because that was pretty fun. Um, anyway, so yes, you can buy all the existing products that were only available in like trios prior to this. You can buy them individually. But the new products are the liquid eyeliner. Like, man, they're really trying to make a really basic thing edgy by trying to like go eye lie. No. <laughs> I'm like, what are we in high school? Um, so the color is in punk. It's waterproof matte. Uh, it's black. It's flexible felt tip eyeliner. Um, and it is supposed to be like smudge proof and doesn't um, tug or bleed. Uh, so it's it an eyeliner. It sounds good. Look, it sounds like all the claims that people that release black eyeliners make. Yeah, Let's it be does. Real. Yeah. Then the next thing is um it's an interesting one it's a collaboration with face lace um and face lace were they came on the scene quite a few years ago mm. um and they never really took off because most people don't wear stickers yeah, on their not face not in the like um mainstream no. sort of beauty it's more um i guess more like uh editorial yes catwalk yeah. Stuff like that. And I like, think, you see it a lot there. Yeah, yeah, and I think they also often make designs for celebrities Yeah, um, on, like, the red carpet and stuff. So it's very, very niche. Um, but supposedly Lady Gaga has worn them before, and she's made this new Amour Mask Number 1. So there's more probably coming. We don't need number 2, I promise yeah. you. The next thing is very, very strange. And I'm not giving prices because it's all available in Australian dollars. That face lace thing is a Forty dollars, which is like no. twenty five, thirty US dollars. Um, so whenever we logged in into the site, it comes with Australian dollars, yeah. but it's very expensive no. for a sticker on your face. It is reusable a couple of times, but whatever, man. Um, then we've got the Eye Amore kit. This is probably one of the weirdest things I've seen. Um, and for someone who claims to be a real like makeup lover, I find this is really off the mark. Mm -hmm. um, so this contains uh, face lace uh, wingtip, armor wingtips. 
And essentially you have, how many is there? 10 sets of sticker wings. So if you can't do... And they're not I mean, all the same. Oh, so, so you've got, got like five. A, a thick one and then a thin long one. Two sets of five. Yes. Yeah. So pretty much you draw the liner on and then if you can't create a wing, you stick a wing on. But it's not undetectable. It's not. They have a photo here where the only thing I can detect is a stick on wing. <laughs> yeah, it's very I strange. Don't, I can't. I wanted to love this brand so much, but yeah. I feel like I can't respect this. I feel like this is a money grab. But it's so weird. It's like, okay, we've talked in the past about how um, those uh, liner stampers aren't personally for us. We feel like they're sort of harder to use. And even mm. if you do train yourself to use them, um, you may as well just train yourself to use a normal liner pen yeah. so it's more versatile. This is sort of like, here's a liner, but I know you can't use it. So here's some stickers, but then when you run out of the stickers, you're on your own. It just, it's just very strange and it doesn't look I good. I don't like this. I can't. Yeah, I don't like it either. I'm sorry. This is dumb. This is. I also really wonder, would Lady Gaga herself no. ever wear these? No, get stuffed. No makeup. Okay, for starters. No, Lady Gaga would not put this on her face. None of Lady Gaga's makeup artists would put this no. on her face. And if you ever see photos that are being like, they look legit where someone's putting them on her face or she's putting them on her face. It's for marketing. It's for marketing. Like, I just can't respect this because I feel like, I don't even think, like, this Lady Gaga didn't fucking come up with this. Like, I can't sit here and look at this and be like, oh, yeah. Great idea. Okay, Great idea. idea. It's, it's not going you. It's, it's, it's one, not. No, it, it might be. Stop treating us like fucking shit. Stop money grabbing us. <laughs> yeah. Like, damn you, Amazon. So, some people ask me, like, how do I do a good, good wing? And the answer is, or, some, or sometimes I'll, you know, be doing my makeup and, Someone was like, oh, I wish I could do my wing liner like you. How, how did you do it? And I'm like, I've been doing it since I was 15 and I'm now 33. So um, you just, <laughs> you you just practice. practice it. But when you have cop outs like just use a sticker, um, it's a waste of money and it never actually gets you the end result you want. And what happens when you're laughing or oh, you're squinting? Oh, but you off. Like... <laughs> Fuck. It pops off. That'd be so funny. But yeah, or you, you get sweaty. Yeah. And it's like, uh, there's something going on with your wing. Yeah, it's weird. No. Nah, yeah, I, I just think if, if you can't, like, if you've been trying and trying and trying and you can't get wings right, just don't, don't do them. It's Look, like, if you absolutely need something to like stick on your face, get a stamper because that is, that, yeah. that is, this is, I can't. They've lost me. That's and I don't think we're ever going to be friends because, no. no. Makeup revolution. God. So they've launched more food-themed makeup. So we mm. did see they had a pizza one. They had a avocado. Yeah. What was the last and one? Was it a chili or a tomato? Yeah, I think it was a chili. They had three yeah. different palettes they brought yeah. out. Um, now they've brought out a hot dog palette, 10 pounds, <laughs> popcorn palette, 10 pounds, coffee palette. Sorry, the coffee palette is also 10 pounds. Then we go to mini palettes, chocolate fondue, Rocky Road. Uh, they're six pound each. So they're now available at uh, Revolution, Revolution Beauty. Beauty. I think I'm going to start talking about the next thing now. <laughs> Can I just say, <laughs> yeah. the popcorn one, there's like one shade <laughs> called corn that is popcorn colored. Every other shade... Is burnt popcorn. Is is blue like, popcorn. Yeah, is purple popcorn. Purple and blue and pink will be that candy sugar coated shit. Maybe you could have a caramel popcorn. I don't know why there's a green one. Oh no, that's the coffee palette. I also don't know why there's a green one in the coffee palette. Look, there's, Look it's, I it's can't. weird. It's weird. But if you like these things, if you particularly like Starbucks and you want to rip off like Starbucks looking palette. Sure. There you go. They've got it for you. Indeed Labs have uh, shown their most recent release. Um, it's called the No Acid Pads. So they're saying it's a gentle alternative to acids that exfoliate, regenerate and restore skin without any negative side effects, irritation or sensitizing acids. It's powered by active probiotics 
and natural extracts from yarrow and Japanese cedar buds. They are meant to gently stimulate the skin's natural renewal process to remove dead skin. These are available now on the Indeed Labs website. Uh, they're retailing for $19.99 US or $17.99 Canadian. Mm. Is Indeed Labs? Maybe they they're, are Canadian. They're Canadian. Yeah, giving a discount for your home crew. I hope they are. I hope that's actually I like what they're like that. Doing. I like that. All right, Kaleidos Makeup. They're launching a Futurism eye brush set. So this is launching the 16th of September. When's this episode? Uh, 20th. Yes, 20th. Oh, it's already out. It's out. Um, so this is... It, this includes five specialized brushes, each, each boasting luxuriously soft bristles that are flexible enough uh, to tend to the most delicate skin, but firm enough for precision application. All right. So there's a large blending brush, the precision pencil brush, shader brush, large tapered blending brush, tapered blending brush, and it is available for 19 US dollars. Um, it looks just like a nice basic five piece eye set. The brus the Brussels. <laughs> the bristles look very similar to real techniques. Yeah. It's a um, pretty generic. It's, yeah. But the shapes do look nice. The handles are sort of like a frosted metallic aqua yeah. colour, which is really pretty. I like that. I like the colour they've chosen. And yeah. Yeah, like you said, basic brush set. Yeah, uh, these would work a treat, but um it's nothing revolutionary, but it's good that they've added it to the range because they're known for eyeshadow palettes, so why not? Give them tools. Give people yes. tools to apply those eyeshadow palettes. All right, Kylie Cosmetics. So we have some lip blushes. Now, she's released one of these in the past, and she's bringing it back plus three new shades. So Correct. four in total. Uh, the shades are Cherry on Top, Butterfly, and I'm Blushing. And I don't know what the Bikini original... Bod. Bikini Bod. There you go. It's backed by popular demand. So these will be out when you're watching this. Uh, it's meant to be an ultra lightweight formula, sheer wash of color, creamy application, dries down to a diffused matte powder finish, soft focus powder, and blah, blah, non-drying, yeah. all day wear. So it's pretty much similar to those like ultra blotted lips yeah. from ColourPop. It's that sort of matte finish, but not a really thick, bold color. It's more of a sheer um, matte lipstick. All right, editing cat here. And um, I had a, we had a bit of a snafu. The camera shut off and um, I missed the introduction to this advent calendar. So this is a holiday advent calendar from La Mer. So take it away, Hayley. All right, we have an advent calendar. It's not our... It's not the last one of the episode. Not either. the only one. Not the only one. We like some bougie stuff. We know you're out there. We see you. Um, they have an advent calendar coming this year. It's called 12 Days of Glowing Skin Renewal. It'll and be bankruptcy. Yes. It'll be £350 and exclusive to Harrods. It's available in October and as the name of it will uh, probably describe it's a 12-day calendar yes um we're not going to tell you what's in it because we don't want to ruin the surprise um but it, it looks pretty and it's all skincare yes except one thing lip volumizer yeah which is a lip skincare lip skincare there we go um anyway there you go if you like advent calendars it's Enjoy. there for you. L'Oreal. So it's funny. This had actually launched um, a little while ago. So this is semi-old news. But I don't really scour every website looking for new L'Oreal news. So no. when it came up, when it actually became like the time for them to advertise it, which Maybelline and L'Oreal sort of have like waves of what they yeah. focus on each month. So this was actually out for a couple of months. Um, it's out everywhere. It's even out in Australia. But um, they've sort of only recently advertised it. So this is the Bambi Eye Mascara. And um, I remember back in the day when, when L'Oreal or Maybelline would release a new mascara. It was like, oh my god, it's I know. so exciting. Now it actually goes under the radar and no one gives I a flying like fuck. I feel like too many are released in a year for me to That's true. want to keep track. Yeah, so this is pretty much um, designed to create that doe-eyed look, which is why they're calling it Bambi-eyed. Um, so it's that wide-eyed, sort of defined lashes, but not too heavy. It's a spiky brush, but it's sort of like an oval shape. Yeah. Tapers in at the top and the bottom. Um, it's just a mascara. It's a mascara. 
Mashara. Mashara. Revolution Beauty and Alexis Stone. Yes. So this is called the Instinct Palette. And there is a sister palette that they're releasing with it called the Transformation Palette. Yes. They magnetically stick together, which is kind of cool. It's interesting. It is. So the Instinct Palette is... Um, it's quite a large palette. It's got 28 shades and it looks like it's all matte. I, yeah, it is. Yeah, all so it. it's got a column of red, a column of uh, pink, purple, grey, blue, green and yellow. All sort of going from lightest to darkest. Um, and then you have a clip-on palette that, like you said before, magnetically attaches. Um, and it's got seven shimmer shades that are supposed to like transform it. So that's why that's like the trans format, transformation palette. Um, so yeah... £10 for the Transformation Palette and £20 for the Instinct. So this is available online now at Revolution Beauty and at Superdrug, but it's in stores at Superdrug on the 9th of October, um, as well as at Beauty Bay and online at Ulta, 6th of October. So whatever. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know. I think this is an interesting idea. I think... Personally, for me, if I was going to have that gradiating color story, I'd want different finishes in it. Yeah. Um, and I really don't like having to use toppers to transform the finish. No. Um, it's just something that I personally think is too much effort. Um, but I think, you know. It just makes me want to use my ColourPop rainbow. That's fair. She's a rainbow palette. What I do like about this, and maybe... What I like about it is actually misleading, but in one of the images that we have, the deepest shades look really deep and beautiful and interesting. But then when we see it in the video with Alexis, yeah, they just look like another rainbow palette. Yeah, yeah. So I don't think I need it. Another product from Revolution Beauty, we have some CBD products. So these are formulated with cannabis sativa oil. Um, what's available now is a CBD nourishing boost cream. It's 10 pounds and the CBD super serum for 12 pounds. Coming soon are the CBD serum. So they have the super serum now, but if you wait a little while, you can get the non-super serum the, the less super version that's correct um and the cbd tonic so the the difference between the serums is the super serum is an extra strength serum that helps to moisturize soothe and calm dry skin um, and it contains hyaluronic acid to improve hydration the standard serum is designed with cbd beginners in mind it's a gentle serum that also contains glycerin to hydrate and it helps to moisturize, nourish and dry, calm dry skin. They make it sound like it's a drug. <laughs> well, <laughs> if a you're a beginner, you need the serum. And if you're not, you need the super serum. All right, Morphe have announced a new palette, the 3503. So we've had the 35O, we've had the 35OM, 35OS, 3502 mm -hmm. and now the 3503. Mm -hmm. So this is Fierce by Nature Artistry no. Palette. You're fierce. <laughs> um, and it's pretty much the same as the 3502 but with a pop of green and not even just like like I, when I say a pop I mean two shades. It's fucking atrocious. So when you're watching that that's now available and they've also launched that with a um, five piece gloss set so these are the natural born stunner five piece lip gloss collection um and yeah they're riveting they're high shine non-sticky take charge lip glosses sure oh sure God. um but that's a pack so you can't even buy those individually what i wanted to mention about these though is i've started finding swatches mm. um, and this was shared with Morphe they've shown 12 shades now I feel like if they can summarize a 35 pan palette in 12 shades why not just release the 12 shades yeah like I think the problem with this palette is not just the fact that it's a massive palette um, and it looks very similar to a past palette they brought out it's the redundancy of the shades. Yep. And we can also see that with these um, sw these swatches from Dupe That, 
How many oranges look the same? It's ridiculous. How many... And I think this is... Reds look the same. One of the many, many reasons that so many people eventually get burnt out and give up on Morphe. Yeah. And it's probably similar with Colourpop and stuff like that. Too many releases or too similar releases. Like, yeah. if I've got their 3502 palette... Yeah. And I, I actually really like it, mm -hmm. but I would never, ever, ever in my whole life buy another palette that looks anything similar to that yeah. because i got 35 fucking shades like yeah, the, the, the only difference is the pop of green yeah um and i don't they're not even so i'm just gonna put this out there they're not even nice greens and they don't really go with the colors no so it's a bit strange but also one, yeah green neutralizes red if you try and blend it's them brown. anywhere near each other it's gonna look shit going to be brown cut yeah. creases only i think this is strange like okay they're still like i agree like the thing if they were replacing the old palettes with this i can understand that a little bit more like i would thank jesus that yeah I have my original one <laughs> yeah that's that's i actually okay. don't mind this one like i don't need it and i don't yeah want it but i don't mind the colors in here if it was down to like a 12 pan 12 palette. Pan palette yeah um but I think this makes more sense, like I said, if, it, if they replaced the old palettes. But having this next to the 3502, it's redundant. it looks ridiculous. I don't know what they're doing, but people must be buying it. That's the thing that, that okay, they must be it's making cheap. money if they keep producing this shit. People can afford to buy it. Yeah. So I guess they do. Yeah. Anyway, there's some more palettes from Morphe. We have the 9J Just a Crush Artistry palette. And the 9S So Chill Artistry Palette. These are 12 US dollars each or 18 Australian dollars. They contain nine shades. You've got like a bluey, grey, cool toned one. And then a pinky, purple, also cool toned one. <laughs> yeah, but it's definitely a lot more pink. Yeah. yeah. See, this, they should stick to these sort of capsule palettes. Yeah. Because you could turn those reds and greens into this size. Maybe slightly bigger. Um so easily it just yeah. seems so strange all right we're on to holiday stuff again yes. we're back on it smashbox so this is the cosmic collection and it's already launched at the smashbox website so if you can order from there which we can't ba -ba um, ba -ba uh, you can get pick it up <laughs> so this contains the cosmic celebrations divine shine gloss angeles trio 25 us dollars um, and it looks like two of the shades are limited edition. There's a berry shimmer and a champagne shimmer, um, whereas there's also a nude cream that looks like it's existing. Nude cream, very pretty. Yes, you're permanent, it's mm, fine. Good. Uh, the Cosmic Celebration Photo Finish Star Power Primer Set, $22. So this contains Photo Finish Foundation Primer, Travel sized photo finish primer water and a travel sized photo finish primerizer. This all has limited edition packaging as well, so it looks like. It does. It looks great. Yeah. Love their packaging this year. Yeah, so it's very cosmic. Um, then we've got the Cosmic Celebrations Planetary Cheek Palette, US uh, $29. So because these are baked products, they have different colors sort of mixed in with them. So the Sugar and, Spa uh, Sugar and Space highlighter is a warm pink sparkle with uh, white pink duochrome and warm rose gold shimmer, all sort of swirled together. The Heart and Solar highlighter uh, is a champagne shimmer, warm bronze and gold sparkle. And the Planet Out blush is coral, light pink and watermelon. So, um, so yeah, they're calling the two outer products highlighters and the middle one a blush. I think these are pretty. Yeah, I think it's pretty too. The only time I liked baked products is if they're like cheek products because I don't like things that are too bold and I find that baked products generally are a little bit softer yeah. in application. I think I'll just watch this. I don't need it. But it looks very, um, what was that brand? Laura Geller? Yes. It looks yes. very Laura Geller. Yeah. Uh, Cosmic Celebrations 3 Palette Shooting Star Set, $39. US It contains Covershot Eye Palette in Nova, Covershot Eye Palette in Minimalist, and Star Bright Cheek Palette. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, at least Minimalist is permanent, yeah? I think so, yeah. What That's about Nova? The one, I think Nova's new. I don't think I've seen one like that. But, but Minimalist, the one that looks like... 
it's repeated twice in the palette. Yeah, it's very that's, nude. Yeah, yeah. That's a permanent one. Just I'm with pretty new sure. packaging. Yeah. yeah. Then we've got the Cosmic Celebrations Always On Lunar Liquid Lip Set, 25 US dollars. So that contains five shades. Um, the Cosmic Celebration Star Power Face and Eyeshadow Palette. This is 39 US dollars and this is their big palette of the season. Um, it's got a bunch of different size pans, which I know frustrate a lot of people, um, but they it is multi-use, so face and eye. The reason why I don't hate hate the layout this time around is because it looks like planets yeah. or stars. Um, and it's not a lot of wasted space. Yeah, it's not like plonk, plonk, yeah. plonk, plonk, yeah. the end. Yeah, usually when we see these like odd shaped pans, yeah. it looks it appropriately look spaced out. Spaced out. Bumptish. All right, I'm not going to say Cosmic Celebration every time because it's goddamn annoying, but we've got the Artist Brush Set, mm -hmm. 39 US dollars. It contains five brushes. We've got the um, Lash and Liner Set, $23. It contains a full exposure mascara, deluxe size always on gel liner in fishnet, and the deluxe size photo finish lash primer. Then we've got the photo finish primer water duo. This is going to be up our alley. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's 20 US dollars and it's got um, fire and air. So um, fire is black pepper and cinnamon. Mm -hmm. Air is geranium and melon. And then they have a second one. Yes. So they contain earth and water and it's cedar wood and vetiver. And oh my God, this I water know. one. I want buckets full of it and I want to bathe in it. Sea salt and lemon. I want it now. I am so excited about these. Yeah. I fell in love with these products this year and I've bought so many of them. You've got a lot it's of them. It's shameful. I think I've got... We need a shame bell. Four. <laughs> yeah, they are so good. I adore them. But what's great about these, they're minis. Yeah, and it's a duo, which is great yeah. as well. So I'll probably go ham and buy like two of each pack. I, I really want that sea salt and lemon one. That sounds like a scent that I just want to yeah. douse myself in. That's awesome. Um, and I love the packaging as well. Yeah, it's cool. <gasps> uh, so excited! Yeah, that's probably... I knew that was going to be the thing that you're interested yeah. the most in. Yeah. From Sugar Rush, we have a new sweetness alert, um, or sweet newness alert, whatever. These are Cake Butter Whipped Body Butter Trio. Trio. Um, so they're saying that it is, it's a body butter, contains vitamin E, shea butter and sweet almond oil and it's only $18 with a $42 value. Yeah, so there's three different scents uh, which is cool. I love variety with scents. Yes. And they're limited edition scents. So there is sugar cookie, apple pie, and peppermint. Um, it. So it's now available Delicious. on the Tarte website and they say it absorbs quickly with no sticky or greasy residue. Nice. Um, I want to eat them. I feel like that's the first thing from Sugar Rush where I've gone Alright. Oh yeah. Yeah. I like the idea of minis with different scents as well because yeah. if, especially if you're going to buy it online, you don't want to be committing to a big tub of something that you you have Don't no idea what the like product's it. like. Yeah. yeah. The so texture, minis are the good. formula. Yeah. And yeah. the good thing about minis, if you try one and you don't actually like the formula, you can actually pass it on to friends yeah, that's without right. actually dipping into it and, and um, going, wasting well, it. Well, that's a tub of $42 body butter that yes. is tainted. True. All right. Tart. We have seen what I am hoping and praying is their whole holiday collection. Look, if it's not then they are it's too crazy. much it is yeah, it's ridiculous much. but the items that we have are the drink of h2o hydrating boost sea glass shimmer body gel lip ornaments lip gloss set a winter wish list color collections now this contains a nine pan iron cheek palette, a gel liner and a mascara. There's a Gilded Gifts Collector's Set. Uh, it's got two limited edition palettes with four eye and two cheek shades each. There's brushes, um, lip gloss and mascara. There's a Party of Three Eyeliner Trio. There's a Finger Foil Face Quad. The Gold Dusters Brush Set. Nine Ways to Shine Cheek Wardrobe. 
the Winter Wonder Glam Luxe Eye Palette, which is the big one that we mm -hmm. saw and spoke about. Yep. Gifts of Glam Collector's Set, 20 eyeshadows, 4 cheek shades in 4 interchangeable palettes. There's also a mascara and a lip gloss in there. The Mistletoe Magic H2O Gloss Set, good God. The Merry Metals Brush Set, Gift of God Lashes Eye Set, wait, Gift of Good Lashes Eye Set, Mascara Wish List, the Slay Then Froze Color Collection, which contains a lip gloss, a paint pot, a mascara, blush. There's also the limited edition Big Ego Mascara, Chrome for the Holidays Set, Hey Curl, Hey Lash Curler, the Elfing and Selfing Quench Lip Rescue. Duo. Missed it. Yep, duo. <laughs> the Cozy Kitten Color Collection, which contains a makeup bag, a mascara, a lipstick, and an eyeliner. The Lip Glossary Lip Gloss Set, Confidence Boosters Lip and Lash Duo, which contains a mascara and the H2O Gloss. The Buffer Airbrush Finish Foundation Brush and the Holiday Honeys Lip and Eye Trio. Ridiculous. All right, new palettes from The Balm. We've got two Metal Vava Voom Cream Eyeshadow Palettes. So they contain eight creaseless shadows in each palette. I question that. I always find mm. all cream things crease. Yeah. Um, but there's two varieties, Shift Into Neutral and also Shift Into Overdrive. So they've already la launched The Balm website. It's interesting. Sometimes I think The Balm does things like they, they do things off trend yeah and that can be good in a sense that sometimes you find things that are like hidden gems where you're like oh this is not where i saw things going but yeah. i really like this direction and other times i do this yeah where i go yeah. what are you what are you doing this so is, yeah not for me not for me i can no. see that being discontinued in like yeah a year's time. yeah two face and madonna have created some little packs so there's the Eye Rise collection, which contains a shadow and blush palette, which is five pans. Uh, then there is a chocolate brownie pencil, a sellout melted matte liquid lipstick, and a better than sex mascara. And the, I think it's a Madeline yeah. collection that also has a five pan palette, um, a better than sex eyeliner, a Lady Balls melted matte liquid lipstick. It's a great color. Great shade. And Damn Girl Mascara. Yeah, this is interesting because it's two makeup kits based on two of her iconic looks. Yeah. Um, from her upcoming collection. I don't know how they're iconic looks when they're like, oh, sorry, yes. upcoming tour. Yes. It's sort of like iconic is like things that people responded really well to. Yeah. Um, but it's available exclusively at her shows and also in a pop-up shop mm. in New York. Mm. So they're not something that's going to be easily accessible no. unless you're in New York or you're a Madonna fan. Yeah. Which probably makes sense. I think that makes sense. Yeah, I think yeah. that makes sense because otherwise this is not a really exciting release. But if you are a massive Madonna oh, fan man. and you want makeup with her face on I'm it. I'm going to say this. If I was going to one of those concerts, and I'm not, and I wouldn't, but if I was, I would buy the shit out of yeah. these. I would yeah. buy them both. I'd yeah, be like, if you were a fan. Can't choose, buying them both. Yeah, if you were a fan, like if, like if a band or a musician that I liked brought this out, you could not hold me back. Nah. So I totally get it. I also know that Madonna and I think Jared are friends, so this sort of makes sense. Um, but I kind of like the idea of using makeup as merch because it's something that I like to buy on the regular yeah. anyway. Yeah. Um, and I know probably a lot of Madonna fans are similar to that. Um, well, not a lot of them, but some of them would be. And in the scheme of makeup, Too Faced quality is pretty decent. So you're, this is going to be a set that um, probably sells well and is received well. So I don't hate it. It's just very strange. Yeah, like I don't want it. No. And it's... I'm not I'm not interested in it, but I think being merch for her shows Yeah, it makes sense. Fine. Yeah. All right, editing cat here and I just wanted to give an update on the Too Faced Madonna collection because we were just talking about how great it is as merchandise at the shows. Well, it was actually available on the Too Faced website and it promptly sold out. So if you are a fan and you're not in New York or uh, you're not going to one of her shows, um, 
If you can access the Too Faced website, it may come back in stock. I'm not too sure, but um, they're 75 US dollars each. While I'm butting in with an update, I may as well give some new announcement news that has just launched um, day after we filmed this video. So um, Adesazi Beverly Hills, when they released the Norvina Volume 1, which was only a couple of weeks ago, Norvina did say that they've got Volume 2 in the works. Well, we've seen it and it's coming out next week. It's releasing on the 26th of uh, September. So very, very, very fast. They're doing a bit of a color pop here. So um, it is more of, it's got like an aqua casing. It's the same packaging design as the volume one, but inside it's got a lot more brighter shades, yellows, some pinks, a lot of blues, some sort of turquoise, aqua colors, a pop of orange. Um, So it's the same format, just with a different color story. So we're going to talk about this a little bit more next week, but I just thought I'd let you guys know in case you were interested. While we're here as well, Fenty have uh, announced two new highlighting products that are coming out. This is actually releasing the 20th of September. So um, as this is going up, it will be released in the next, I don't know, 24 hours, depending on where you live in the world. Um, But there's the Diamond Bomb number two, which is a holographic pink highlighter. So Um, It's supposed to work for the face and body and it's a peachy pink sort of crystal effect. This is a little bit different from the other highlighters in the range because it actually has a bit of a diamond shape to the pan. Um, And then we have the liquid diamond bomb. So this is a new roll on liquid 3D glitter to highlight. So yeah, it's a liquid product with a roll on applicator for your face and body and it says snag a cute baby buki brush too. So I'm not sure if that means it comes with a baby kabuki brush or they're also releasing one that you can buy separately. Not too sure, but it is going to be available everywhere Everywhere you can get Fenty. So, so if you're into that, 20th of September. They've also added a new um, melted matte lipstick to their Clover collection. So this is the Clover 3. I've wanted the 1 and the 2 and I want the 3. And they're not available no. internationally. No. Um, but it's described as a soft pink mocha. And it's got the same uh, packaging as the last ones. And uh, they're donating $25,000 to Best Friends Animal Society to celebrate the launch. So it's available now. Um, it's exclusively at the Too Faced website for 21 US dollars. Okay, Vizart, we've seen a new Grand Pro 3 eyeshadow palette. So this is, it was up for pre-sale on the 15th of September and it was meant to be shipping on the 1st of October. So if you want it, it's up for pre-sale at the moment. Yeah, for 175 US dollars. Yes, she's a big one. It contains 30 shadows. They're saying they're primary, secondary, and tertiary tones. Now, this is an interesting one because um, I think in different photos, it looks diff- like mm. all different. I think close up, the photos where they sort of zoom in on little sections of it, I think it looks really nice. Yeah. Um, when I see the marketing photo, I'm like, oh, it looks like... Um, you know those photography sort of like yeah, you take yeah, a photo yeah, yeah. of the color board to get yeah. the colors right? Sort of looks like that. It looks a little bit weird. Um, but then held here, I can I can see yeah. the nuances a little bit better, whereas I feel like these photos don't do it justice. Like the marketing photos don't do it justice. Yeah. Um, some people's criticism tends to be where are the pinks and purples? And I understand that because that is what stops this from being a full rainbow palette. Yeah. But at the same time, if you're a makeup artist, you can sort of create... Yeah. Like, like if you step back and see um, this photo that I'm talking about where, like, someone's holding it on a set, there are some pinky tone reds yeah. in there. So you can sort of... If you wanted to create pinks, you can. And then you could also mix those with the blues to get purples. But I do think that it seems very... One side is cool, one side is really warm, and it sort of is doing, to a much better extent, the Morphe 3503, where it's like a lot of reds and oranges and then a pop of green, but also blue blue in here. So I think it's sort of that tone, and it does look like two distinct different palettes. You can make pretty much anything with this palette. Yeah. This palette, I think... I don't think this palette is designed to just be taken at face value. No. The fact that they very clearly say like primary secondary and tertiary shades it's 
designed for someone who wants to play with color. Yeah, and, and not, you can mix color. Yeah, and not just play with color by putting different colors on your eyes, but like mixing colors before yeah. they even go on the face. Or layering them yeah. for a different yeah. effect. Um, but also in context of these um, palettes, the Grand Pro 1 is a nude with a pop of pink and purple. Yes. And then Makes the sense. Grand Pro 2 is... Um, I think all that, shimmery. All shimmer. Yeah. yeah. All shimmer. So this does work with that story. So yeah. um, once again, I think some people will love this and will see the possibilities they can make with it. Um, and if you love the formula, I really do like this formula. So it, it would be on my makes radar. The most perfect sense for their Grand Pro range. Yeah. Like yeah. I think it is perfect i don't know how they're going to expand on that range now because i feel like they've ticked all the boxes they'll have a pink purple and gray one. Oh, look you better be careful mm -hmm. <laughs> but um yeah i think it's i think it's a great palette yeah so this is exclusive to muse beauty pro i believe but they didn't say it's limited edition so okay i wouldn't rush out if you are shocked by the price excellent um, we have a little update, which I just want to touch on before we continue on and get half a step closer to finishing this episode. Our girl Gaynor has just said that uh, Hourglass actually has two oh. lipstick duos that they're releasing for holidays. Oh. So... So I can buy two. I'm very happy. <laughs> they have the I Cherish and You Inspire set, yep. which is beautiful. And then they have an I Wonder and I'll Forever set. Ooh. So this is more of a, would you call that a rosy toned pink? Yeah. And then a Burnt, brick or, orangey. orangey red. Yeah. Yeah. So it's good though because um, the first set that we spoke about at the start of this episode mm. does have the nude and the berry. Yeah. Um, which is a beautiful combo. If you prefer more mid-tone colors, yeah. you have another pack as well. That's great. Getting oh, I'm going to buy them both. Thanks, Hourglass. Me too. Thanks, Gaynor. <laughs> Thanks, Gaynor. All right. We've got a few things from Wet n Wild. This is actually an update that we didn't talk about in the updates, yeah. but that's all right because we talked about it enough last week. Um, so the Wet n Wild palette that looks like a dupe for the Morphe James Charles palette is actually called 40 palette. Mm. And it's to celebrate their 40th anniversary, I believe. Um, this is available for a limited time only on wetandwildbeauty.com. Now, it's, when I checked last time, it's not available. You can sign up to be alerted to when it's available, but it will be $19.99. So it is a, more affordable it's than cheap. the Morphe one, which is great. Um, but it is limited edition. So um, there you go. Excellent. From Wet n Wild, we see the Halloween collection. So there's four Fantasy Makers sets. These are only $14.99 each. And basically they contain all of the things that you would need to make a Skeleton Queen, a Venomous Vamp, a Serpent Goddess, or a Fierce Lion. Then they have uh, individual products that are tailored to be useful around uh, the Halloween season. So there are paint palettes. Color Icon Shifting Shade Blushes. They come in three shades. Uh, and some of those, uh, we've seen them before in other collections. Yes. Or last year, maybe. Yes. Um, there's also, like, some um, iridescent paint pots in that and, um, like, pan makeup, like, face paint and things like that. Yeah, so, so like, black, and, white, red. Yeah. Yeah, and also the highlighters, the um, highlighting powders. Uh, then we have some 10 pan eyeshadow palettes. Uh, there's some makeup sponges. There are liquid eyeshadows in a cream, metallic, and shimmer finish. Uh, there's also glitter palettes and setting spray, a primer, um, both the matte finish, which exist, don't they? They just have limited edition packaging, I think. Yeah, with yeah. The the spider, web. the spider web yeah um there's some face gems so stick on little diamantes for the face uh there's face and body stencils um there's also multi sticks in an array of colors that would be useful for halloween there's loose pigments eyeliners mascaras and liquid cat suits in a high shine finish a metallic finish and a matte finish 
and there's also some Mega Last Lip Color Lipsticks. Heaps of stuff, all different colors. A lot of them are really affordable, like the multi sticks are two ninety nine. Yeah, there was something. The eyeliner is ninety three cents. Yeah, and the face and body stencil stencils are a dollar ninety nine. Yeah. So they've got some. They're cheap. Yeah, so they're it's... really cheap. Yeah, and I think it makes perfect sense for Halloween. Yeah, we talked about this last week, and I'm yeah. glad that the affordable brands are bringing out Halloween makeup yeah. at a pretty affordable price. So that's great. Last thing we've got is the Yes Style Advent Calendar for 2019. So this is coming back. This year it is called Cosmetopia. It is a 24 day advent calendar. It is going up pre-sale to start. So pre-sale on September 25th at 12 a.m. Pacific time. And then it's going to go up for sale October 9th um, and they will be doing a release and if it sells out they will then do another release sometime after that. I believe they're going to be having two or three re-releases. Yeah, to, I think it's like, until they, it. Yeah, I think the, the concept behind that is um, if you don't make it for the first one, it's, yeah, it's like not as if it's sold out and then you're screwed. Yeah. You could they sell limited stock every week until it completely sells out. Yeah. So you sort of have if more of a chance to jump in yeah, and get it. So if you don't have the money on the, the release day, or yeah. if you can't get online, but you can make it the next time or the time after that, yeah. it, it's to allow people to actually purchase things when it's being released in very limited quantities and yeah. it's very popular. Uh, anyway, this is going to retail for $149.90 US. It contains 24 full-size Korean skincare and makeup items and it is worth over 350 US dollars. Yeah, and I believe that because we got out we got it last year and it is it was great value. Oh, there it's was fun. skincare, makeup, a whole bunch of stuff, tools. Yes. Yeah. I've still I've still got it under my desk. Yeah. I still, can, still I've still my got desk. my box too. It's yeah. it's a handy little thing. Yeah. Um but if you want it 25th get to pre-order. The time has come to dedicate this episode of Beauty News to a Beauty News VIP and this week's VIP is Sam. Thank you Sam. Thank you Sam for supporting Beauty News and thank you to everyone who supports Beauty News in whichever way you choose to do it. Yes. What's our emoji cat? It's going to be an hourglass. Yes. Because strangely like you look for emojis and sometimes you find multiples of obscure ones but really basic ones you're like we don't need there. six hourglasses. Yeah, why do we have multiple hourglasses? But it's fitting because hourglass, we talked about them, and nearly two is... hours we've been talking. <laughs> tick. We would have tick, been using tick. up a quite a few hourglasses. Yes, so, um, we would have. We yes. could have had the little ones and been turning it over every timer. 30 seconds. <laughs> Good God, no. No, we should get really big fancy ones that take like an hour and then yeah, we the should, last we end. Yeah, we should get huge We should ones. just be like, that's it. We the cut, end. We're cutting this off. <laughs> if you didn't make it, too bad. Too bad. You've been cut off wet and wild. <laughs> That's correct. All right, guys. We hope you enjoyed this episode of Beauty News. If you did, give it a thumbs up. We'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.